We've just hit 500 million bookings, half a billion. Pretty massive milestone for iCabby. How are you feeling? It, you know, it's, 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 I think it's an incredible achievement. I think for everyone in the business, that the blood, sweat and tears that have gone into that number, I think it'll be very difficult to ever get across to people. I think all the customers that have trusted us from day one when we really we were a startup business selling a dream, I think it's been uh, an epic journey. And uh, that, that, that milestone of half a billion is, is something to really celebrate, it just is. Okay, so it's June, and this time last year, June 2018, we entered into a strategic partnership with Group Renault. So 12 months ago, we had entered this partnership, and here we are hitting half a billion bookings. What's happened since then? Tell us. Like, well, we knew there was, uh, you know, there was some inherent problems in the industry. One was fragmentation, fragmentation. two was the level of complexity, um, and three really was lack of investment going into the traditional taxi industry. And we needed to solve these things. Um, we went out and found an amazing partner in Reynolds. Um, you know, a year on, but they, you know, they fully support us in everything that we want to do. Uh, our team is up to now 140 people. We have 76 in our R&D team as it stands. So we're now finally in a position to really succeed and bring the taxi company, uh, you know, the taxi industry to where it needs to go in competing against these new threats that are facing us. So I think. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's been one of the best periods for me from day one. Obviously, you're in the startup phase, it's very exciting. But as you become a real business, you know, there's a lot at stake here. The industry is under huge disruption and under huge threat. And iCabby has risen above it all. We've, we've stood out now. I think the, the, the options for taxi companies are under-resourced, they're uh, underfunded. And they're under ambitious in a lot of cases. And I think we stand out now because we've ticked all those boxes and we're now ready to really give taxi companies what they need to succeed. So iCabby's success is completely based on the success of our customers. So are you seeing lots of customers working with iCabby at the moment who are really nailing it in the market? Look, we, we've, we've about 500 customers around the world. Um, you know, that, that half a billion number is coming from all parts of the world, which is really really cool thing to think about um, and the customers you know what, what they need is a technology partner that can that can uh, help them compete against these new threats that are coming their way and their businesses are changing and they need a really strong viable business partner we've managed to create a connection with one of the biggest car group in the world right now and uh, I think that combination that investment from them into the best dispatch provider that we are into the taxi companies is going to change the taxi industry because the taxi industry can become a conduit in the new age of mobility. So what are the key highlights that you've seen over the last 12 months? It's been a, it's been a difficult journey. You know, you're a different business when you have very good funding behind you. Um, but you know, growing the team for me, like well, this this business, I kind of you know, as with the other founders, it's our baby, and we want to we want to see this business grow into something really really special, and the business has to deliver for our customers. That's just paramount. That's the most important thing. But we need the people to to to, to achieve that, and you know, we've gone from I think eighty people from when we did the when we did the the investment up to 140 people. And you know what, we've got the numbers in place now. We've got a development team that's probably four times biggest than the next competitor. We've got each area of the, of the it's, a, it's a complicated product. There's many different products that we need to excel. We've got different teams now uh, evolving each area and they're gonna start delivering in the coming months. They're a new team, they're all senior people. We didn't, you know, we invested in a, in a, in a, in a very mature team. Um, and I'm just, what, what, what kind of, I love technology and I know over the next coming months, you know, internally I'm seeing the changes and very soon our customers are going to really start to see a rapid change where we leapfrog the competitors, although I believe obviously we're ahead of them already, but like, you know, we're going to be just uh, out on our own in terms of the best option for proactive taxi companies that want to take the fight on, that want to stay in business. 
And part of the, the growth of the company has obviously been setting up um, a new office in Montreal with the guys that we've brought on board there. So what's your feelings about that? How are they getting on? Look, we've got our HQ in Dublin, which is a fantastic team. Um, we've got a, another HQ over in, if you call it another HQ in, in Sheffield. Um, we have HQs all over the world. HQs now. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, <laughs> now, and now we've won in Montreal and, and the team, the enthusiasm from that very experienced team who've, who've been, you know, really, uh, they, they've been working very closely with electric vehicles for the last three years and now we've a chance uh, to kind of, to take that, that learnings that they've had into an area that is a really important strategic um, uh, uh, focus for us, electric vehicles. We think it's a place, it's a niche that taxi companies can win. And, you know, obviously we're backed by a car company that is also shares that vision. So it's, 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 it's a unique place to be, very proud of it. I think that the effort that's gone in from a, from a very large team now is just something that's humbling, to be honest. And uh, uh, I sound like a proud father, but you nearly say it. I'm, I'm just really proud of it. You know, we're set up to succeed. That's the key thing. Well, we, you've spoken there about iCabby being your baby and the same with the founders that have been involved in it. Yeah. Too. But we also now do have our very own baby iCabby. And are you a proud father on hearing the news that we've had a baby named after iCabby? You, you know, like that is exceptional. There's actually, you know, four kids myself. I don't think I've gone so far as to call my babies like iCabby, but to hear this call center that was operating, you know, iCabby, uh, uh, the, the system, and, and for them to call the baby iCabby is something that really warmed my heart. I think is something, it, it's an exceptional th thing to happen. Um, so Especially because you love the brands. She loved the brand, you know, yeah. And you like to say she loved the system as well. Well, she did. She's been very easy to use. Yeah, yeah. But there's a little 18 month old baby called iCabby. Uh, I, <laughs> I could say none of our competitors ever got their, ne their company name called after them. So, you know, look, we continue to do exceptional things. Half a billion bookings in such a short space. And, you know, it's testament to the growth, it's testament to all the customers that have trusted us. I just think uh, it's, it's, you know what, you've got to take stock of where you are because business is hard. Business is about solving very complex problems. We're facing um, a, a really challenging time in the industry that I only came into a few years ago. And, uh, you know, to think that we're, we're getting the right ingredients in terms of, you know, a global car company, massive investment, you know, really good team, really great customers that have followed us and support us from day one. Um, and you know we're continuing to grow, you know double digits. You know the the growth is is still phenomenal in the business, and uh, I I just think you know the next few years are going to be very exciting for the business and very exciting for our customers, and uh, I think we can turn that into something that's very exciting for the industry. I think when you put the growth over the last year into perspective with this half a billion bookings, this time last year we were on about three hundred million. So in twelve months we've done two hundred million, which shows that. Well, we have very loyal customers who were joined at the beginning. We have people who are continuing to switch to every all the time. They see the benefits of the system. So given that we have done about 200 million in 12 months alone, how soon will it be when we hit the billion mark? I don't know. I was predicting quite a, not that long ago about the half a billion bookings and kind of came across, came, came about a little bit quicker than I thought. Um, we're adding companies on every week. You know, so there's so much momentum with this, which is a great thing. Um, but the industry needs to come together and they need a partner that they trust uh, to bring them you know, and, 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 and to grow their businesses and make sure that, that they are at the centre of mobility. Um, and you know, that, that is us. So, so the billion bookings will be a, ph a phenomenal milestone, but it's going to be just part of our evolution. And, and you know, there's lots of people that need to share because it's a celebration of the taxi industry. So it's, it's, We'll do a good job of celebrating, we're good at that, but it'll be a celebration for the taxi industry. We're celebrating here today in Southern, where I have began in Dublin. Yeah. Um, we're a, a local company with global ambitions, but we never forget our local roots, which is very like the customers. How important is it for taxi companies to, to keep and keep those local roots and to keep in touch with their communities? Do you know what? That's where taxi companies can win. The global players that are raising phenomenal, huge amounts of money, like money that's never been seen you know, in any industries before. I think, um, you know, I, th I think where the taxi companies can win is that connection with their, 
their, their local people because you know communities are different all over the world and you know if you're second to these big global players that's not a bad place to be so the industry is going to consolidate but big companies in each community and city what they're going to do is they're going to grow bigger as well they're going to consolidate and you know they're going to offer that more um, uh, local service and that's never going to go away it's been proven in many industries um, around the world in you know different sectors so uh, the taxi industry isn't going anywhere that's for sure okay so i can use reach this massive milestone we're showing proven every day that we're pretty good at supporting the taxi industry with our software and as you said we're also pretty good at throwing a party so will we get back into it we're very good at a party i invited everybody to my house today uh, we're, we've uh, a great celebration out behind us and, and uh, I think it's time we got back to it. Let's go wreck the gap. Thank you very much.